What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Deuce Mess. This is Gold Rush, the game continued. Uh, so they did put out, uh, somebody left me a comment, uh, or during the live stream on Tuesday. Tuesday, while I was streaming, they put out a kind of a mini, um, uh, what's it called? What is it, what is it called? Uh, a mini roadmap. That's what it is. So, major updates coming to Gold Mining Simulator, which is used to be Gold Rush. Uh, the, the, the typical thanks for your support, feedback will be appreciated, all that kind of stuff. April, uh, rebranding, which is done. Leaderboard seasons on consoles later this, later this month. So, later in April, we're going to have uh, consoles are going to have leaderboards. Bug fixes on consoles later this month. Apparently, there's been some bugs that need to be fixed for a while. Uh, new image represents our commitment to delivering the best experience for the community. First half of the year, DLC 2. Which DLC 1 was Frankenstein, right? So DLC 2, mini m mining machines, all platforms, will introduce new machines that will enrich your experience in the world of gold mining. Get ready for new opportunities to discover. Okay, that's cool. Later this year, DLC 3, all platforms, we continue our journey with another major addition, bringing new adventures and challenges. I don't know what that means, but to me that sounds like the DLC they've been talking about for a while. So that's cool. Uh, for those that gave up on the game, don't give up on the game. I think it could be really good. Uh, let's see. Real quick before we get going. Lars for two months. Fred for two months. Gargoyle for seven months. Ethan for three months. Mike DC for eight months. T. McMill for 42 months. And I think that's it. That covers them. Thanks to the members that re-up those memberships. I appreciate you guys. Keep me doing what I'm doing. Don't forget to check out members-only videos. It's basically vlogs of work while I'm out about. There's a lot of them that are just me wandering around and walking and talking and blabbing about nothing, really. Uh, don't forget to go check those out. Where did we leave off last time? Last time, we were we moved this guy over, right? And we were... Um, we were just kind of getting these together, I think. And it looks like that reaches, so that's good. Yeah, I think that's what we're doing. We were trying to finish this up. Let's go turn everything back on, and let's get moving some material. I like the new music for the game, too. I know it seems weird, but it's it's kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of nice. And I also realized on the last thumbnail that um, I, I left the uh, back in the cut in there. I forgot to change it. I was in a hurry making it. And I was like, oh, crap. That's so such a rookie mistake. But, you know, it happens. So um, Also, <laughs> so, uh, oh, I'm such an idiot. So for the My Recycling Center yesterday... Yeah, I'm going to get tons of comments. God, this guy's an idiot. He can't read. You're right. I cannot read. Um, so <laughs> I was trying to figure out what kind of bin I was supposed to be, <laughs> how I could find the Denny bin, because uh, most of the words on all the stuff there is not in English. So for me, I'm looking for, um, I'm looking for a bin that's spelled D-E-N-Y. Well, in English, that's just deny, right? You're supposed to just deny them their, their, uh, the ability to drop things off. That's, that's what that, <laughs> that's what that is. So I'm an idiot. Uh, I was reading way too far into it, I guess, um, for my own good. But, uh, yeah, somebody left me a comment. It was, it was like, uh, yeah, you're just supposed to deny. I'm like, oh my god, I was looking for an actual bin that was, that, thinking that it was probably some kind of like just bad English translation but that was not the case uh, I'm a moron <laughs> but anyway we got that straightened out uh, and uh, we're not going to be looking for a Denny bin anymore yeah uh, how's everybody doing in live chat I hope you're doing well full of pay dirt okay uh, hope you're doing well in live chat here uh, let me switch this to live chat hang on a second instead of top chat there we go uh, Bob Crystal, how's it going, Justin? Is this game better uh, after they renamed it? So, I mean, renaming it hasn't done anything. Not yet. But... Uh, for me, I've been really enjoying the game. Uh, last time I played it was 2018 until this year. So... You know, I don't know what what was bad about it before. You know what I mean? Like, it's better from the last time I played it, for sure. But that doesn't mean anything, because 
Um, you've likely played it since since I have. So I don't know what you're looking for for it to be better. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't know, Justin. I'd love to give you some help on that, but I don't know. I don't know the condition it was in before you, before your you know before the update. So because I just started back playing it, but I will say. Um, it's better than the last time I played it, and they do have some updates planned now that their license is they're, they're no longer attached to Discovery Channel. So there are some updates coming. I know that for sure. It says it on the roadmap. I hope they stick with that. And I hope they don't let everybody down. I don't think they will. But um, yeah, there's there's some updates and stuff coming, which is going to be good. I think. I think they're gonna kind of rejuvenate the game a bit and for me just rebranding it and getting a promise of new new stuff is kind of a rejuvenation in itself so uh i don't think i don't i don't know if there's any better right now but i think it very well could be soon so again i don't know if that long-winded answer helps you but that's what i got so <laughs> that's, that's all i got for you in that department because i don't i don't really know what the the state of the game was the last time you played, so. But for me, um, I like it. I think it's I think it's pretty good. I've ever played Out of War? I have, yeah. I've got, uh, I did the demo, or not the demo, I did it pretty early on. I say early on, it was full release then, but they, they've pumped out a lot more updates since then, though. Uh, and I played it not long ago, and I wanted to. I, I was just going to compare, right? I was going to play some Out of War, and then I was going to play this. And I ended up just sticking with this because Out of War still runs really, really rough on my computer. So, uh, which after the last update, I think they fixed a lot of the the processing stuff in it. So I think it runs much better now for everybody. I'm trying to find this camera view. we go 34 and 30 all right we need to let that set for a minute we're gonna get a bit more over here a little more in this one actually yeah they're even now so that's good uh but yeah out of war is an incredible looking game uh well it's an incredible game I th the graphics leave a little bit to be desired but uh short of that um I think I think it's got some really really cool potential to do something do something wild because you can do all kinds of stuff in that game. Uh, watching Split and Two play it, man, he was doing some crazy stuff in the game. So he's building a whole like an actual dam. But yeah, I mean that, that game's got some got some wild stuff happening uh, with stuff you can do. So uh, Out of War definitely is a great game if you're into mining simulators. For sure. No problem, Bob. I understand, buddy. I understand. I can't get to this. I'm going to try to chop it off right here if we can. Yeah, there we go. It's like a little a little spot there we just can't do much with, so let's chop it down. I'm trying to go from the top down, though, because uh, so somebody had mentioned this, and, and in my experience, it's been the same, too, since I realized it. Most of my nuggets are coming from the top down they're not coming from uh bedrock so i'm trying to stay in that range so that i can keep uh keep the nuggets coming if we do hit a good batch of pay dirt be good and if not that's fine too but yeah out of war looks i mean it, it's it looks like it's got some real potential to do something i i think i just haven't played it long enough i haven't done enough on it to actually fully understand what's what i'm capable of in the game you know if that makes sense i just haven't put enough time in it should i put more time in it absolutely yeah uh, it is. It looks. It looks like I could do some. Well, I say. I say. I, it, it looks like you can do some really cool stuff in it. I don't know that my creativity is there for it, or my understanding of the mechanics of the game are there yet. I'll just have to play it a lot more, and I probably will at some point. Let them get. Let them get some more uh, work done to the game. 
which I know that it's it's out, but they're still updating the game, so let them get some more stuff done to it. We'll go back and try it out again later. Alright, that is my road. I don't want to go any further that way, so we want to finish knocking this out right here. Sixty percent. We might get two full buckets out of this. Uh, the rest of this area here. Actually, I'm pretty sure we will because we still got a lot to a lot to get out. Right there. I'll put some of that on the ground. Missed. Try it again. Here we go. Yeah, we're gonna be moving back again here in a minute. Yeah, these mobile wash plants, we're going to be moving these around quite a bit with two of them because we're moving a lot more material a lot faster. We're not having to wait on one to uh, empty out to 50% to put it in there. Both of them are just running the whole time. So, Still no nugs. Last one we got was that 19 ounce nugget. Go. And again, if they're if they're empty when we get back to them, that's fine. I'm not I'm not too overly concerned with it. I'm gonna peel straight down there. You know, even if we drop it, I want it to move anyway. So. Want to get me a straight down cliff going again over here. able to uh oh god what is happening right now there we go i can't get a full bucket it just keeps hanging on everything um straight down cliff so i can start moving my wash plants around but have them right up against the hillside we're gonna have to move back some more it looks like to get anything done over here the way it's looking anyway Probably turn our light on. Probably see better. I was just digging away. I didn't even think about it. So you guys remember the um, North Atlantic... Uh, fishing North Atlantic, Fishing Bear at Sea. The same dev company is coming out with one called Ships at Sea, and I'm kind of curious to see what it does. I played both of those games, and they were both really, really fun. And we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to jump into Ships at Sea when it comes out. See what it's about. Scrape all that off the bottom there. It was reinforced. The reinforced teeth are doing work right now. I keep going in this one. That one's got 99%. So basically, we'll get this one filled up to where it's going to be. It's going to hit 99%, and then we will uh, jump out, and get them both. Camera bounce right there. Ninety eight. Yeah, that one's going to be both of them are full. Turn them off. Shut it down. There we go. Our buckets off now. Wait, is okay. I still have, I 
I still have some. I was gonna say, is that all full buckets? No. Still have some empty buckets in here. Go ahead and I don't want to get them out yet because I'm probably going to move here in a minute anyway. Yeah, it looks like we got. Like I can start cutting some of this probably. Let me see if I can get up there. I really can't either. That's as far back as I can cut right there. I can cut this right here off, though. I think I'd rather do that from up top. Uh, yeah, I think we're just going to be moving backwards. I, this, no, I really don't want to cut that either, because that's like... Kind of lets me swing out a bit. Yeah, that's going to be it right there. We'll just clean up the bottom. We'll finish cleaning that little bit up right there. And then just move them back to here and try to get the rest of this cleaned up. And then... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll move them to here and start put them side by side right here and just start digging digging out right here. We'll leave us a path to go straight back. We'll dig on both sides of us. Sweet. Good idea. Go. Just cleaning this up. I'm going to stop and get some fuel at some point. And again, we're, we're probably not going to get very far into this. Because again, I don't want to get too much into the... The road we got up there. But I think... bucket there we go there we go do I plan on buying the front loader at some point yeah um, that's that's what I was thinking was my next purchase but I need 150 150 thousand so uh, that'll probably be the next thing we buy is the front loader and I just I think it'll speed it up a bunch put these bad boys side by side use the front loader to dump into it I know that's what a lot of people recommend I haven't used the front loader since like the beginning of 2018, the year 2018, <laughs> when, I was, when I was playing it the first time. Uh, I just always like using the excavator. Just It's just fun. It's a lot more fluid. Uh, it's probably not as good because we could probably load way more dirt with the, uh, with the front loader. And that's fine. And that's the great thing about the game, too, is there's more efficient ways of doing things, but there's no real wrong way to do it. You can only do the, do the stuff the right way, so... Well, I say that um, if you if you only find nuggets at a certain depth and people have figured that out, then that's the right way to do it, the wrong way to do it. But, uh, but yeah, I do plan on getting the front loader next, I think, because we're we're kind of set for a little while on this. We're not going to be putting the tier three wash plant up anytime soon. We're not taking out loans. We're not playing on dollar mode, so it's going to be a long while before we have the money for the tier three wash plant. But yeah, front loader definitely going to happen at some point. Maybe after this clean out. I don't know how much money we're going to get, so. I know last time we did 31 buckets, we got 129 ounces. And I'm, no, I'm doing no drill, too, so I'm not testing any ground. I'm just running all the dirt. But uh, we got 129 ounces last time. So if we get more than that, we got 50 buckets this time. Once we get them all full. If we do more than... Um, More than 129 ounces, we're definitely getting the front end loader, and I think that's going to speed up our our actual like processed dirt at a time because we can just take scoop, just put these side by side, dump it in both of them. So yeah, yeah, Richard, we will. Uh, and again, likely right after this clean out. So not much of a scoop. I'm going to move back some, I think. I think I can leave those there. Just move down.
I think I can still reach both of those from there. Oh yeah, very much so. That one actually might be a little close. Then we can come back here, we can reach all of this. That's perfect. All right, I do want to do something real quick though. We can let those run. I need my light closer. We'll grab our uh, work light here. I'm gonna get turned so I can actually get to it, but not stuck on the hill. Okay, let's do that. And then this. Last time I played, you used the front loader to clean out uh, bedrock, the excavator on top. I mean, that's not a terrible idea. No, that's what I'm thinking too. It's like once once we get to that point, it's probably gonna be better off doing that than what I'm doing right now. That is not what I wanted to do. I was trying to go over here. I forgot it stays on. That's kind of cool. Oh. Didn't like whatever we did there, did it? I'm going to put this somewhere where it makes sense. Right over here. If this, I don't know if this is going to work or not. We're going to try this. There we go. If it goes all the way out now. I don't know that this is going to be better or worse, but that's looking pretty good, actually. I like that. That's nice. All right. We're going to leave that up here for a little while. I don't know what's supposed to be done up here. Can we, like, we put our two, uh, like, I don't remember this area right here last time I played, so I don't know what's supposed to be up here. Can we do our, like, mobile wash plants up here and just use a dump truck? That'd be kind of neat, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, I've got a lot of extra dirt and stuff to scrape off the bottom here, Richard. So, yeah, I think I think that's probably what we're going to do is a front loader. And, uh... That's everything. A front loader. And just parking these bad boys side by side, you know? Oh, man, it's like a whole new world down here now. I actually see what I'm doing. Whoa, that was weird. Oh, it was lightning. Okay. What to say? Fuel is low. Yep. Oh, it was like a light glitch. Nope, just lightning. Just the storms moving in. Trying to get as much digging as I can done before winter. We got seven days. Seven days to work the mine. I figured that would be a mostly full bucket. That's gonna do when I move that way. Let's go there. there we go. Yeah, that seems to be a good idea, though. What's changed so far in the game? Um, well, I mean, so far the title. Uh, the title is all they've changed so far. 
Uh, I think they, the the license for Discovery just didn't get renewed, and now they're starting to actually work on stuff without having any kind of um, restrictions from the licensure or whatever. You know, so uh, so far the name's gotten changed. And they took all of the Gold Rush posters and stuff that were in here. They took those out. The music's changed. So not, not a lot. It's not been a lot of big stuff that's changed yet. But uh, they did put the roadmap out, the mini roadmap that they've got planned. Uh, April consoles are getting the um, leaderboard challenges. So consoles are going to get those. And then uh, later, the first half of the year, so sometime probably before July, we're going to get DLC number two, which is going to be some small machines. And then DLC number three is going to come later this year, and it looks like it's going to be maybe a new claim of some sort. I don't know. The way they made it sound, is this what it was going to be? be like a new claim... Because uh, they specifically said something about more adventure and whatnot, so that's what it seems like to me. But again, I I don't know, I don't know if that's the plan. I'm just I'm speculating like everybody else is. So it's very possible that could be what they're doing. Get in here for a minute. That way we can really see what is happening down here on the on the ground level there we go a little bit right there in front of me I'm trying to clean this up a good bit that way when I move these around I don't get stuck on all of it that's good for the game I think I think it is I think get rid of discovery because I mean again you have to you have to keep in mind too when you when you've got that kind of situation a lot of the times and I'm not saying this is the case with discovery and, and gold rush but a lot of the times whoever holds the license kind of gives you the okay to do things where now I think the devs can just go nuts you know just do what they want to it's all independent now so um, and again I'm not saying that's the case that Discovery was holding them up or, or whatever but um, it's definitely one of those things that it could have been they just didn't want to fund it kind of deal you know like what they had was good enough leave it at that they dropped the license or the license expired Devs let the license expire. They didn't want to keep paying for it or whatever. What, whatever happened. I don't know if that's the case either, but whatever happened. And now they've got some uh, creative freedoms. Which, I mean, like anything else, creative freedoms are good in whatever genre you're in. You know, you want to keep those creative freedoms if at all possible. So I'm looking forward to where they plan on going with the game. I think they're going to do some good work, maybe. All right, looks in, this is looking pretty good. We may have to just stop early. I was going to try to fill both these buckets up, but we have to stop sooner. 52 and 71. Well, about out of dirt here. We need regular updates and fixes. The first thing they're doing... Well, the first thing they did was change the name. The second thing they're doing is they are going to update the console versions and start patches on the consoles. So if you're on console, look forward to that because that's the first thing they mention is um, patches for consoles and the updates for the leaderboards or update to the leaderboard patch and then they're going to get bug fixes and stuff out for consoles as quickly as they can. So again, I, I think they're doing I think they're doing people right. I know the game is old, right? I'm aware. Crap, I dumped half of that out. I just can't get any more of this. Um, I know the game is old. But also, I, I know that they are doing what they can do. You know, like, I feel like they want to keep giving people a good game. They don't want to give you something that's, that's crappy. You know, I think they're still trying to give people a good game here. So, um, I think that's the bonus. Right? Is, is that now you have possibly a company that can go, Hey, we can do... Whatever we want now, we have creative freedom, you know, and that's a good thing for the company. So hopefully, let's keep our fingers crossed that that's the case. I'll throw these two buckets over here. It's amazing how tall it is when you're looking at a five-gallon bucket and you look up, right?
All right, we need to get these two moved back. And then we're going to climb back up top up there. And we're going to try to dig. We'll probably park about here. And we're going to dig off to each side of us and go straight back. And then dig that up as we go, too. So it's going to be quite a bit of moving. But, you know, once we get the... Um, We get the front end loader won't be so bad we don't have that many more buckets to go either actually let's go ahead and go let's empty this out grab some more buckets and then uh we'll see how many we got left to actually pick up here let me go switch over that guy give us some stuff there i'm gonna go turn this water pump off up here too But yeah, I think, I think honestly, I think we can look forward to some good, maybe some good updates coming. I'm keeping my fingers crossed anyway. Like, after coming back to the game, I realized how addictive it is again. It's, it's actually, it's actually a lot of fun. And not everybody's going to agree with that, but I think it's a lot of fun anyway. Happening here, let's move you. There we go. Keep these as, as even as I can across here anyway. They're not going to be perfect, but... There we go. Sometimes moving these things around gets a little awkward, doesn't it? OCD. It's not OCD. I just like things to be in line. It's better for the viewing experience when you can look and see just how many buckets are sitting there, right? Like, you can easily count them. They're in rows of six. I was going to do them in rows of five, which I, I probably will. I'll probably change them to rows of five. But if I do that, that's five right there. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Should be 40. We should have less than 10 buckets left. Why does this bucket look so much more full than the other ones? Like, they all said 100%. I wonder if that has something to do with the amount of gold, too. So, I'm trying my theories on how to tell how much gold is in a bucket just off the mobile wash plants, but I haven't quite figured it out yet. I do know that the more magnetites you get out of the magnetite separator, the more gold is going to be in that bucket. Like, that's definitely, definitely a thing. I've run that test five or six times, and it's come up the same every single time. So, yeah, we'll just keep going in rows of five. Should be ten rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's uh, 35 buckets. My last one right there. Plus the two I've got in the machines right now. Got three there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's ten. How did I end up with an odd number? Two, three, four, five, right? Ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, thirty-eight, forty. Oh no, I didn't. Yeah, fifty. The two down there make 40, and then these 10 right here make 50. But we did not. We have 12 buckets left to fill up with gold. Not 12 buckets with no gold. And even still, the, the maths are still the same. I'm just bad at it, so. There we go. I'm the same way as OCD. I don't think it's OCD. I don't, think I, I don't think I've ever been diagnosed with OCD. I mean, undiagnosed, I guess, but... I mean, I know people with, like, severe OCD. Like, actual OCD. I think it's... I think it's just me being picky. Like, I could just throw them over there and I'd be just as happy. I don't care, but... I like to line them up for the, for the content. All right. 
right, we got our empty buckets. Our full buckets are dropped off. Let's get down here and move these back now. Oh, ran over our water splitter thing there. Hopefully that's in the right place. It's close. That is not it. That zoomed when I hit the gas. There you go. We're doing this in the dark. I should probably just go sleep, but I can't waste days. We, we gotta, we gotta stay on the on the gold here. We got seven days till we gotta hibernate for the winter. So I was gonna put these right there in the, yeah. Let me just try that again. Start over completely there. At least I'm not fighting with anything else here. No hills. No none of that. There we go. Perfect. Perfect enough anyway. If that's close, that'll do it. It's going to be awkward, but yep. Oh, hey, there we go. Okay. Just sling it around a bit. It's all right. We'll pull out here and back up and do it again. All right. I just need to leave enough room to get in there. That's all I need. They can be right on top of each other for all I care, but I just need enough room to walk between them. I think it's sliding on that hillside right there. See if we can walk between those. Oh yeah, as long as we can get in there to hit that button right there, I'm good. Wait. Boom. Turn that off. Go grab our buckets that we were using in here. Put them back. One of them is much, much more in it than the other. And we'll have to take our excavator all the way up and around. Because I want to get back on top for this. For a while, anyway. Keep coming back to this game from time to time. Still having fun. Yeah, me too. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's it's so weird that it's so addictive. But it's been out for so long. Oh. What's happening here? Oh, no. We gotta move again. Okay. Well, we'll move, move this further down. That's a long way down there. Oh, is that as far as I can go with this now? Oh, crap. All right, we're going to have to figure something else out here. Do I have an extension for this? I do. Right here. Do I have another red hose? I do. Okay, we got it. We got it sorted. We're good. We got it sorted out. Take this down to here. And we'll take this down to uh, let's stay on the edge I think let's run it this way right there probably we're probably gonna have to can we stick the electrical cables together I don't know that we can do that can we we have to move move the generator down there which will be fine I mean it's not a big deal there we go I haven't figured out how to get the filter off of the other hose yet. I guess it's just perpetually on there. Which I guess is okay. I'm not going to use it for anything else, probably. Okay, hang on. Yeah, let's, let's redo this before I even start here. I'm going to say something here, too. I'll roll 
hundred foot cables on a fairly regular basis doing sound shows and stuff. I would not want to roll a hundred and sixty four foot um, water pipe. <laughs> not by hand. That seems miserable. I'm just going to be honest. That seems absolutely miserable. Oh, no part of that. Alright, there we go. So that part. that part yeah it seems absolutely miserable having to roll 164 feet <laughs> of heavy duty pipe and it's called extension cord wait what what did I, what did I call it cable but to be fair, those are those are heavy duty, high capacity electrical cables. I don't know that I just call those extension cords, but they are. They're just basically extension cords. Right. Well, this one. This is the one we stretched out even further. Okay. The, we'll roll it up. Stuck somewhere or something? What is happening? There we go. Just kept stopping. No. There we go. There we go. Get our cables over here now. This is a this is a lot of dang work. It is probably much faster to have the big wash plant built and just go from there, you know? And again, we might have to move the Ginny down here. I don't know if this is going to reach. I'll have to find out, though. I'll move this over to this side. Follow the same path, kind of. <sighs> oh, that's it. Okay. Well, I guess we're moving our generator halfway, because I still need to be able to get up top with it, so. All right. All right. Move it down to right here. We'll put it with the with the uh, hose extension. Yeah, I said I said extension cord. Yeah, it's a hose extension. You're right. Or these are extension cord, rather. All right, let's run this one down. I'm just gonna drop this one right there. I know what that one is. That's to our lights and our stuff up here. And I don't know that our hose is going to reach down there now, but I think I think we can run a separate red hose. We can. Yeah, we got our splitter. Uh, there is no, like, water hose out on these. No. Yes, yeah, so we're going to have to run a separate red hose off of this guy down to just our water table and stuff. So we need one more of the water splitters, unless I have another one laying around I forgot about. Uh, I do have an extension here. Or an extender. I guess we could, in theory, just extend that out. Down to there. That's a long way, though. Even with one, I don't think it's going to make it. Even with, even with one extension, I don't think it's going to make it. The hose. There we go. Let's go get the other one. It's going to be daylight in a couple hours. And really, as long as it's not... Oh, that's the wood. Let's see, what, did I, what is that? Uh, as long as it's not cloudy and raining with the, with the moon out, this is still pretty nice. At least we have some light off in the distance. It's not super bright, but we have something. Okay. I figure there's no point rolling this all the way back up. This is already going this direction.
There we go. Everything should be hooked up and ready to go now. The big water pump should have no issue pumping water down to here. Yeah, I think we just need one more of uh, the regular water hose. Extensions and one more water splitter, which I thought I had one more of. You know what? I do have two of these. But I just put the other one. There it is. Yeah, I do have two more of these. If we had one more water hose, we could get down there. But I think just putting um, put another red red hose and a splitter on that would be good. I think that would be fine. And maybe even moving like the gold clean out back up to here somewhere. This little shelf right here is fine for now. But once we get the tier 3 wash plant in place, which I don't know that we're going to hit tier 3 on this claim. I'm going to be real honest with you. We may not. I kind of do want to buy this claim at some point, though. Yeah, I think we'll just grab another water splitter. I think that'll be easy. I'm just going to go ahead and run this down off of this. Uh, I'll leave it set there. Leave the valves closed up. All right. How much fuel is in this guy over here? Sixty-two percent. It's got plenty, plenty, plenty. All right, let's go ahead and move the excavator, and then we'll turn everything back on. A lot of running back and forth today. Move the excavator, we'll turn everything back on. There we go. There we go. Now we got it. Take okay, it up and around. Back over to there now. Hey, what's up, Zero? How's it going, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Oh, we're running out of fuel. I was wondering what was happening. Where's my fuel trailer? It's up here, right? Yeah, as long as we can get over there to it, we're fine. I forgot I dug all this out, too. There's no chance of going that direction. Yeah, we're going to clear that out, and then come back and clear this out, and then come back and clear this out. We're going to keep going, but I'm going to hit my last road last. I sound glitched out, I think, on my... Oh! We ran 1,124 yards, which is double, nearly double what we what we would run um, with one. So that's really good. We are running more dirt, and that's what we need. We need to run more dirt in a shorter period of time. I hope our fuel holds up enough to get over there. My fuel trailer is literally right there. I don't know how much fuel's got in it. May have to go back and get some more, but we about took our road out completely. That wouldn't go any further. That would have been awkward to take our road out completely. That sound keeps glitching out on me. There we go. Twenty-one percent fuel left. So, all right, we'll get what we can get. Yeah, yeah, lights, I know. I left the lights on. <laughs> Just realized it. All right. I don't know how much it's going to fill up, but uh, we'll see. But yeah, I don't know what's so addicting about this game, but it is so much, it is so much fun. Like, honestly, just keep coming back to it. All right, got half a tank. We'll work that and then uh, we'll go get more when we need to. And I haven't actually checked this to see if this will work or not. I know the trailer got through there, but 
don't know if the excavator will get through there or not. Hanging right on the edge there. That is close. That looks good though. We did a good job of, of kind of cleaning that off there. That's nice. Yeah, this right here is the back of the, the first part of the claim. So, that's as far back as we can go as that wall right there. Why does it keep, why do we keep losing sound? Hey, what's up Todd? How's it going? We going to die? No, we're good, man. We're good. There's plenty of room on that road right there. Plenty of room. All right, I think we're just gonna start right there. But you know what? Let's move over slightly. That's probably good. Right there. All right. Let's get to work. We're going to start right here. We're going to clear off a bit of this first. There we go. Just right up to the tracks. I know what you're thinking. Why are you doing that? I've got a plan. I've got a plan. Just bear with me for a minute. Right up to the tracks. There we go. Right up to the tracks. Alright. There we go. Let's dump a little bit more in here. Okay, now we can come down here, grab a bit more of it, don't overfill, there we go, okay, now then, both those are full, and that was just off of right here, but what I was trying to do is I was trying to make me a way back up there. <laughs> it almost worked. It didn't work quite like I wanted to. So. Yeah, no, I didn't I didn't turn any of that on yet. I just wanted to be, just get them full and see how that was going to look when I got all that cleaned up, which is pretty good. It turned out okay. All right. Let's get the water on. It's got 47%. I'm going to grab a fuel can because this guy's going to run out pretty quick down here first. There we go. This guy's going to run out before anything else. Then we can turn these two on and get going. Hopefully I can climb back up there. That was the, that was the plan. I don't know if it's going to work like that or not, but... Oh. Oh, we didn't turn this on. Crap. I put fuel in it, didn't turn it on. You got to turn this on too, dummy. Go. All right. Back into the map. Oh, they're already. That one's already on. It's weird. So once you hit the button, it's on, huh? All right then. Let's get going. And again, the first things first. We're gonna dig right there. Just even with the tracks. And then we're going to keep going to the sides. We're about to take it. We're about to bury ourselves up over here because we're going to dig our road out over there.
And we're digging so close now, we're having to wait. So that's that's a good thing. That means maximum pay dirt is going in. Maximum pay dirt. Oh, that's at ninety six percent over there. Crap. Okay. One's at eighty. Keep filling this one up then. May have to jump out and actually stop that one. I thought we were closer to even, but. Come on, we did it a minute ago. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we'll fill that. We'll get this one filled back up, and that'll get us back even. We have to kind of move to the side to get the rest of that right there, but I mean, maybe we do what, um, what was suggested. We, uh, dig from the top for a while. And then once we cash everything out, we get the front end loader and dig all that from the bottom. It was 100%, right? Yeah. Okay. And I don't take these out of the truck because I feel like we're probably going to end up moving anyway. And it's just going to be, I have to pick them back up, put them back in the truck kind of deal. Can you just stand up straight over there? Probably not. I think the wheel well's in the way. Comes the rain again. Okay. Let's get these running. Climb back up top. Time to get a third wash plant? No. No, no, no. No, we're barely going to be keeping up with this one. Once we start getting side to side here, we're not going to be keeping up with them. Like digging out right here in front of us is easy, but I wanted to do that one so I could I could have a better visual if I needed it. Two, um, so I can really see how close we can get like that, right? But at the same time, like there, there's no reason to get a third wash plate. It'd be fun. I've never run three. I don't think it'd be interesting. But we're, we're about to get to the point where we're going to be digging the sides out, so it's not really going to matter. You bet you can't stack the empty buckets? I've, that's something I said from the beginning. I wish they I wish they would have incorporated. You have a stack of buckets, and you pick a number how many you want to take out, you know? But it's really not that big a deal. Just throw them around. No problem. All right, now, now we're to that point. Let me start digging off the top here. Until I back up a little bit, I can't get any more of that down there. There goes our road. There it goes. Bye-bye, road. We shall see you next time. Yeah, now that we're running on the sides here, we're not going to keep it near as full. Although, I think I can pull some more from the front, probably. Running lots of pay now. Of 
Glad the excavators have the thumb on the bucket. I've never seen anyone use it in the game. It's because it doesn't work. Dirt still spills out of it. So the thumb's kind of pointless. Like, if it was a working thumb, it'd be great. But all your dirt, all of it will spill out. Like, I know you're still going to have some loss with a thumb, but all of it spills out. I'd rather not it not be there, because it actually makes it harder to dig, because you'll hit the thumb on stuff. It actually makes it worse. Yeah, I mean, you would think with with big gravel and stuff like this, the majority of it would stay. You'd still have you'd have some loss, right? Some of it would fall out, but not like that. I mean, that's like the whole bucket just dumps out, kind of crazy. What's up, spider Ed? How's it going? Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Fifty percent on the other one. We can get one more bucket over here. Again, as long as I'm constantly moving, we're good. I don't mind them running out. I just don't want to be sitting there waiting the whole time. And with one plant, you're going to do more waiting for it to process than you are actually putting buckets in. So this way, you've got two buckets on one side, two buckets on the other. And then keep running right along. Even if it gets to zero, it's okay. I don't have to sit and wait on it. Stuck in there. 78, 79 on one, 76 on the other. Yeah, again, just constantly be moving, you know. That's the goal. As long as we're constantly putting pay in, and we're not sitting around waiting. Three eighty-six. We're gonna be close. I may have to stop one before the other, but got a one bucket per side here. One bucket at a time, and we're keep. See, we're keeping up with it too. I mean, that's that's the main thing. Is like as long as you're keeping up with your plant, doesn't really matter. We're we at 97, 95, 75. Close enough. Let's jump down. And turn that one off because it's about to be full. That one's at 97 percent. Okay, that should be enough to fill it up. 9900 Don't want to waste any pay dirt if we can help it. May have me a little way back up here too. Yeah, nice. That worked out somehow. Engine sounds getting weird again. As we get further and further back, it's going to be less and less uh, keeping up with them. But I 
One than the other, one than the other. Let's see if we can get in here. Get a bit more out of that. We got some of it. Go back to the other side. Fuel is low. Yeah, I know. We're going to go get fuel at some point here. I was really hoping to get the rest of these buckets done. So we can just do a cleanup today. And then go get fuel. And maybe even get the... Uh... Oh, no. we got to open up another slot, don't we? Or we're going to have to sell our excavator. One of the two. And I don't want to do that. I think we've only got one slot on the claim available, though. I think we have to sell the excavator or pay the 20 grand and open a new slot first. So we need way more than 150 ounces, which I don't think we're going to get, to be honest. So don't think we're going to get more than 150 ounces out of 50 buckets. It's only 20 more buckets from what we did, so 120 ounces or so? I mean, maybe. It depends on how good the ground is. And again, we don't know that, so... The guessing game for us. All right, that's our mark for that side, which is just the track width, basically. A little more on this side, probably. I don't want to go too crazy over here, though. All right. I know it's not a full bucket, but that's my that's my width I want to be at right there. A little bit wider than tracks, or right on it. Yeah, I'm trying to... So I want to dig and go straight back. I want to dig off to each side and then just move straight back as I go. Now, this is a heck of a lot faster than one wash plant, but yeah, we're eating through some fuel though. Our biggest enemy at the moment. Which I think on any gold claim, probably keeping up with fuel is the biggest enemy. It always looks like the weather or the breakdowns or whatever else, but I mean, I couldn't imagine the amount of fuel they go through. I've never actually looked to, looked to see, and I don't remember them saying in the show, how much fuel a week on average they use. I don't remember how much it was. I know that, I say I don't remember them saying, I don't remember how much they said. But I know they said at some point about what, you know, the operations were using per week. And it was a lot, but I wouldn't want to do it. I mean, I say I wouldn't want to do it. I'd actually want to go gold mining. I think it'd be fun. A lot of dang sitting around working though. Let's say sitting around. I mean, for the excavator drivers, a lot of sitting around. Losing pay. Oh, I thought it was empty, more empty than that. It wasn't, was it? All right. Well, it's full now. So, whatever. Lost a little bit, okay. I have a lot of planning over the... I've done a lot of pl uh, panning over the years, but nothing to this extent. I think I think a small wash plant like this and a small excavator would be about all I'd want to do. I don't think I'd want like a, a big operation or anything. Two guys, you know, two people. Small mobile wash plant like this. Which you can, I mean, you can still use those. It's a little small operation, that's all I'd want. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy at all. I 
amazing how much faster this goes now. Like, we're already back at 90% again, because I'm not having to stop and wait. I'm telling you, that having to stop and wait crap was really getting on my nerves. We just swing the bucket around, dump it in one that's under 50%, and keep going. We'll try to clean out some more of this side here. Ninety-seven on both. One more bucket for the other one, and that should be time to jump off and cut them off. Cut it down. Cut it down. Oh, they're already dang, they're already full. Yeah, I cannot believe how much faster that's going. Uh, hello. I think we just lost a bucket. Oh no, there it is. Went under the tire. I mean, it's in there, I guess. That's what matters. Well, we got uh, four left. Six total. How many times have we changed buckets since we've been over here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we've done six already over here. That's, that's crazy. I didn't think we'd done that much, but apparently we have. But yeah, I'd like to have something... A small operation like this would be fine, even. Just, I say small operation like this. this is, there's a lot of money tied up right here. Just a small wash plant and like a track hoe, right? Like a little small, little small track hoe. One that you would use in your yard for stuff. That's all, that's all I would really want. Keep them full, keep the dirt coming, keep moving that material. I told you, the more the more off to the side we get, the harder it is going to be to keep filled up. And I should have pulled these forward slightly. I knew I should have. I don't know what I was thinking. They ended up right up against the dirt. That's all right. We'll, we'll clean all that out with the, uh, the wheel loader once we get it. Or we'll just pull those forward a bit, scrape it up, dump them in there. I don't know. We'll work it out to where it gets out of the way, though. Conveyor belt available. Conveyor belt? What conveyor belt? Oh, like the, the belt for the Frankenstein? The replacement belt for the Frankenstein or something? Is there an actual... Can, can I get a conveyor for these two and just leave these sitting in one spot and run a conveyor belt to them? That would be wild. That I would like to see. But yeah, Zero, I can see that, um, you know, th there's a reason they call it gold mining and not gold finding, right? Like, I can see it being a lot of fun to do that, though. Change my mind at the last second. <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's put it over here. All I found was uh, the big mining hauling trucks use about 92 gallons per hour sheesh 92 gallons per hour for the big mining trucks that is crazy like the big dump trucks that is wild that's a lot of fuel I mean, that is, that's a lot of fuel. Holy crap. 92 gallons per hour. That's a lot. I mean, I don't know, I don't know how much fuel we're using. I've never even, 
thought about it on here. I don't know if there's a way to measure it unless it's percentages. Using so much percent per hour or something. Alright, we are about out of fuel, so I need to stop and move this guy. I said we were going to go to a route of fuel, and we are basically out, but I need to move him so that I can get back to, uh, to it to put fuel in it. So, let's go ahead and shut them down once they run out. He's got 48% left on it. Let's go ahead and shut it down anyway. I need to keep them as even as I can. Alright, we're going to have to go get the truck. We're going to have to move this guy. So that I can get fuel in it once I do get the fuel trailer. Back over here. Whoa! There we go. <laughs> I thought I was in dig mode. I wasn't. Alright. Uh, there we go. As bad as I hate to do this. I think I got enough of a road over here left, and I said I was going to have to leave it for a while because I'm still going to have to get up here for fuel. There we go. Ease around. That is a. Uh, this is where this is where people that work in mines live right here, right on the right on the edge of stuff, man. It's crazy to watch. Watch some of that. We weren't straight either. There we go. Okay, now, let's continue on. Before we run completely out of fuel. Oh, I think my sound glitched again there we go I was like what is happening there sound glitched again okay I'm gonna spin around right here we're gonna pull back forward slightly that way at least we can get in here to get this this fuel trailer but we're close enough I can just back it back in there okay should be good yeah we can get in there to get it okay sweet Turn that off. That guy's done. Let's jump across and empty that out. Or empty that out. Turn that one off. A lot of stuff spread out now to turn on and off. And I gotta come up here and fuel this up when we get back to... I might just bring a fuel can up here. This thing's still got 55% fuel left in it. Save me from getting in and out of my truck twice. I might just take a full jerry can up to the, the spotlight up there. Do it that way. How many we got? Four left. I think we're probably going to be able to use these right here. We're not going to have to move again for a while because we have a ton of dirt to dig here. So just drop these out like so. There we are. These are full. Up we go. That's been turned off. We need to turn our water off up top here. We'll drop our gold buckets when we come back down to go get our trailer. Actually, you know what? Go ahead and drop our buckets, I guess. That way when I leave the where the water's out of there, I can just swing around the outside because we'd have to climb back up this little bitty tiny hill here if we didn't right there and there's no reason to come back down here anyway drop these now stupid jack in there I'm about to move that thing somewhere else I don't think keeping it in the truck is necessary I've already got one but whatever we don't use it for that much There's a lot of pay dirt to run, folks. For me, anyway. It's the first time we've had... Oh, that's the wrong button. 
First time we've had that much pay dirt to run. Should be a nice clean out. I don't know if we're going to get to it today, though, because i got to stop and go do all this now. Yeah, definitely going to have to fill that guy back up when we come back. Also, we need one more um, red hose splitter, right? I think I said. And two more water hoses. Or one more water hose. I think it was one more. Oh, boy. All right. Uh... Well, this is awkward, isn't it? How we managed to get out of that, I don't know, but uh, we not doing another clean-out guessing challenge. We will. <coughs> we will at some point. Um, I, d I don't. I don't have the. Don't have the fundage to. Give away a $25 Steam gift card weekly. So we'll, we'll do another one though, yeah. Yeah, I think this time around we're probably going to do uh, just clean this out, use the money to upgrade, and then um, the next time around we'll do one. Right. Trailer acquired. Oh boy. That's the other. I don't want to go down in that mine. Not with the truck anyway. All right, everything's turned off. The jerry, most of the jerry cans are still pretty full. God, man, why won't this thing turn? Yeah, doing like one a month I can swing, but... Um... More than that, I just got, couldn't do it. Put that in next to the other one. <laughs> Alright, off to town. Off to town we go. It's fun just guessing. Yeah, I mean, if, if you want to... You can throw a guess in there. We'll see who gets closer. Uh, the channel's still up. In Discord. We're going to have 50 buckets this time. Instead of 31. Or 32. Whatever we had. I think it was 31. We're going to have 50. And again, no testing, no drilling. So I don't know where the, where the best ground was. If you want to throw a guess in there, I'm curious to see people's guesses. That's the reason I like doing it. Because I like to see how close people can get. Because I have no idea. I wouldn't have... I wouldn't have even bothered, honestly. My guess would have been like... 65 ounces or something. Like, I never would have guessed 120. I think we may go ahead and smelt the gold while we're over here, now that I'm thinking about it. That way we can empty that out. And hopefully, I mean, I want to hit another nugget, but... Um, I'll have to come back over here and do this again if we do. Okay, let's go and just smelt this. That way our ounces are empty. It'll be one heck of a payday for the claim owner, I know that.
probably going to cut it off, I guess. We're going to be here a minute. Not nearly as bad as normal, though. We don't have so many things to fill up this time. Couple of grand here, couple of grand there. Yeah, we just need one red hose to water hose splitter, and then one more water hose, I think. And we can leave everything set right where it's at. Yeah, we're six days to winter, so we're kind of in crunch time here. But we can't dig anymore. You can't dig there in the winter, right? Or can you? Whoa! What happened there? Weird. Just going all over the all willy nilly all over the place there. Gold is done. Sweet. We'll go ahead and get our water hose and our splitter. And uh, we'll go sell that gold. This guy. Red hose to water hose. Then we need one more water hose. I think we need one more red hose. No, we've already run it down there. That's right. We just need that. Okay, sweet. Takes care of that. But yeah, we haven't been in town since the update, though. So, gold mining simulator. This used to be a gold rush thing. Steven, uh, Steven Batty, heavy equipment warehouse. I don't know who Steven Batty is, but I'm guessing he worked on the... Yeah, this used to be a gold rush poster with, like, Tony Beats or something on it. These used to be the ones with Parker on them over here. But that's changed. What about the other ones that are sitting around somewhere? I don't see me. Yeah, I don't see what the point of this guy is. I'm gonna be honest. Like you can't hook a trailer to it. I guess if you just need to run into town or something. I don't know. It just seems weird. Like there's no use case for that thing that I can see. I don't see any more back here. You have to sleep through winter. I have to put everything in storage, or else it will be broken in the spring. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it's. We're gonna have we got six days to winter, so that means we got five days of mining left. It's gonna take a solid day to get everything put away. Yours, can you think of us subscribing? Well, appreciate that. Let's sell the gold we got. Oh, I gotta go get it out, don't I? Crap. Okay. Uh, let's look at the parcels. So this is one mining slot upgrade here. The buyout is six hundred thousand. The lease is zero, but thirty percent of our gold goes back to the claim owner. And of course, the Nighthawk claim got a very, a very high chance of gold, but it's two point four million dollars. The lease on it's eight hundred thousand. I mean, yeah, we're a long way off of that. Like the buyout for old Arnold might be worth it, six hundred thousand, but I mean, we don't have near that. So, all right, let me go get um, get that. I'm not even gonna take the truck. I'm just gonna run it. I think. Yeah, I'm just going to run it down here. It'll be all right. Can drive over that, but can't walk over it? Weird. <laughs> Poured me a cup of coffee before I started streaming. And just as I suspected, it's getting cold. What are these signs? I don't think I've ever looked over here. Travel beyond this point, not recommended. Well, what happens if we travel beyond this point? What's what's back here? Well, that goes over to Pine Valley. I don't see the issue here. Is there a water tower on the other claims? Yeah, there's claim. There's one on that one too. See, I don't remember the water towers at all, and they may have been in the game. I just don't remember them. I never set one up. I want this dirt bike right here. Oh, like forget the side by side. Give me the dirt bike.
Take this back over here with us. 18.4 ounces. Hard mode. Uh, so we're playing on like normal, but uh, we're doing no loans, no drill, no testing. You know, we're not testing the ground. We're not taking out loans. So I'm making it harder on myself. Yeah. So kind of hard mode, I guess. Because the road is out, it's rough traveling. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. All right, here you go, banker. Take that. All right, sell gold bars. Well, 22,000. Yeah, I mean, it's something, right? Something to keep fuel and everything. Keep our parts up and such. That's why I couldn't turn her though. My diff lock keeps me from turning sharp in this thing. Forget about that. I want to stop and see how much the. Uh, I looked. I looked at it last time, but I've forgotten. How much the wheel loader is? One hundred forty-one thousand. Oh, okay. Well, it's nine thousand less than what I thought it was. How much is it to upgrade the claim? Upgrade slots? 30,000? Okay. Machine zone claim 2 or 3. Sweet. Then we're back down to 40,000. So at least we made um, made enough money to justify off of that one nugget getting the uh, the upgrade. So now that's out of the way. Now we just need 100 grand. So the next when we do the clean out, which I, I don't know if I'm going to get to today, we have a very strict speeding schedule for the pups, so I'm starting a little earlier and ending a little earlier. Still getting my around two hour stream in, but uh, we're trying to stick with a very strict feeding schedule for his meds and stuff, so uh, I've got to end in about 20 minutes. But we'll get back, get fueled back up, see if we can get the buckets out, and then um, next week I won't. Next Tuesday, well, if I if I'm not if I'm not working next Tuesday, we'll uh, get our clean out done. Next week's gonna be really really busy. Wednesday on, I won't be here, so uh, and maybe not even Tuesday. We'll see. We shall see. Have to play it by ear next week. The week after that, I should be good. The week after that, again, shows won't be here, so. Uh, it's busy season in the in the sound world. Spring has arrived. Yeah. All right. What do you do to put your stuff away? Do you do you, do you store it all in there? Like, I don't know. I never had to put my stuff away. Fast travel. Do we do we just park it in here? Close everything up. I don't I don't know how it works. Wrong button. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how the storing of equipment works, so I'm gonna have to figure that out at some point, I guess. Oof. Well, diff lock. We about messed up. I should have pulled this thing a little further forward. Making this really difficult here. My trailer would straighten out. I can do the... Yeah, there we go. There we are. Oh, you know what? Uh, let's leave this attached. So we need to go fill up our uh, our big our big water pump up there too. All the small parts you put in the barn, everything else you transfer to storage. Oh, okay. Does the mobile wash plant count? Like do both of those guys, the big fuel pump, the water trailer, all that go in storage? 
Because that stuff bought at the store. So how does that work? I don't I don't understand. I think what you don't store can end up needing repair, replace after winter. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Just the parts that can break. So like the, the spray bar on the mobile wash plant, the engine, stuff like that. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. He's got 40. We might as well just take it back down. There's no way we're going to... There's no way we're going to have more left. We might we might actually go get more fuel. Let's go ahead and go get it. Yeah, thanks Guillermo. That's uh that's, that's definitely helpful because I I don't I don't think I ever had to store anything. I wasn't um I wasn't playing when that became a thing. So so confused on what actually needs to be done. But basically if you don't put stuff away, you got to repair stuff on it. Whatever will let you put in storage, although Peanut was able to shove a lot in the barn. Watch him play Rob. Well, that's what I'm asking. Like, if I put it in the barn, does it still count as 27%? Good gracious, yeah. We're going to get some more fuel. Um, if I can get the, the wash plants in the barn, you know, like, I think that would be fun. The, uh, the excavator. If I get the excavator in the barn, which I don't think I can, but like this mobile light right here, stuff like that. If I can get that in the barn, that should count as storage. You can put the whole machine in. Okay, cool. But we might be able to store what we have. What's on the other side? Let's say, where's the, where's the thing at? Right here. Uh, but yeah, I think that would be Move the excavator to storage put everything else in the barn and just cross our fingers, I guess But again, we've got very limited time though if we got to have that done on day one of winter Then yeah, we've got very limited time So what's the point of having the ripper then we're gonna go and get more fuel. I don't think I'm gonna be able to mine anymore today I'm gonna be out of time anyway By the time we get back with more fuel. We'll set up our water hose though. When we'll get back for our uh, cleanup area That'll be cool. Yeah, so as long as it's in the shed or it's in storage, it's fine. Or it could be fine. It doesn't, I don't think it, it doesn't guarantee it, right? Like you still have broken parts. That'd be cool if it was just some RNG, like, you know, your spray bar still froze up over winter, even though it was in the shed kind of deal. And busted or something. Rippers for early spring in the morning. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so we're gonna have to rip some more after we get uh, after we get through winter time. That's gonna be cool. Yeah, see, I didn't have to use the ripper when I played either the last one I played. So some of the stuff's new to me, and and to me that makes it a fresh game, even though it's an old game. You know, like I'm pretty happy with the the outcome here. Eesh, easy bouncing around everywhere. Yeah, I can't wait to get some of the which I think I think I played on Nighthawk and we had all the stuff. We had the dump truck, the we had two Frankenstein's like. We had all the stuff. Um, a lot of the the way the game operates just wasn't implemented at the time, you know. So I didn't get to play with all these different um, all the different mechanics of the game, I guess. Pull up a little bit more. Fueled up. Yeah, ripping in early spring. That makes sense. I mean, to be fair, man, they've done a good... God, every time it saves, it sends me off sends me off one direction or another. To be fair, they've done a good job with the game and the mechanics and stuff, I think. And again, it's been a long time since I've played, so I don't know exactly... Is this the fast travel point? It is. Okay. Uh, I could just fast travel back, but I think that costs money. I'm not trying to spend money. Um... But the mechanics of the game, I think, are are pretty great, really. 
Like, I haven't seen another gold mining game that has the same mechanics as this. This one's just a lot of fun. What do you think of, of Wild West? You talking about Wild West Dynasty, Todd? Wild West Dynasty, Todd? I like it. I, I, I'm waiting on them to do their complete overhaul because it's supposed to be coming soon. So when the complete overhaul happens, we're going to be back playing Wild West Dynasty on Wednesday some. So uh, it should be it should be really good. Another fast travel point. We still got to find all the stories and stuff. That's something I never did either. I never found all of the stories, but I want to find them all. I guess we're going back this way again. Uh, one more time. Old Arnold Parcel. I never knew that sign was there. I never paid attention to it, I don't think. You know, I just realized, I like how Alaska has the Alaskan pipeline and they're pumping oil and stuff. But fuel up there is like $10 a gallon. Not quite that much, but I mean, it's pretty expensive. It may be that much in some places in Alaska. But it's like they have a pipeline pumping oil out, but yet everything is wildly ridiculous in price. Not how I wanted that to stop. We'll pull this down to here. There we go. Why are you still moving? Throw this guy over here. There we go. <laughs> I know that's, that's probably not the most efficient way, but... I want to leave that up there. That way when we move the excavator, we can go ahead and park it in place. Alright, so I need to come off of... We have one on here. Yeah, we need to come off of this guy. Right there. Around to right here. We're going to set up a new water area here. Right there. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get all this done for next week. At least. That way that's out of the way. And then our power is still coming from the other side. We just got to go swap out one of the swap out our power cable from here to one of those. We won't be running this at the same time anyway. So, uh, yeah. And then this hose here. Right. There we go. I'll run it right down and hook it into this. That was weird. It's like it closed it off or something. That was strange. And there we go. Now, these will have water. And then we'll just have to swap the power over to it. Oh, saving. Okay. Yeah, we'll swap the power over. Keep running off the mobile gen. And won't have to reroute hoses water too. So, cool. Must be a... A knot right there, something we're hitting. Yeah. All right, so 50 buckets. If you want to, there's a Gold Guess giveaway channel. The giveaway is not active, but you can still throw a guess in there and see how close you get compared to what everybody else is guessing. We'll have 50 buckets on the giveaway. I mean, on the on the guess this time. It's at a 30. I've got uh, six more buckets to fill. I just don't have time to do it today. I'm about to have to take off. Uh, we've got six more buckets to fill. You see right there, there's two in there. They're both around 60%. Then we have two empty ones here each. And uh, we're digging in this side of the claim. I don't know if that helps you out any. But we were digging there. And then we've been digging here. And you can see we're digging from the top down. So I don't know how that affects the gold. If you know more about Gold Rush than I do, then your guess should be closer than mine would be. Um, I'll say this, though. We did 30, 31 buckets last time, and we did 129 point whatever ounces. So, if that helps your guess any, which I don't think it will, because gold varies. It's not going to be the same just because it's the same amount of buckets. Should be interesting to see. Uh, if you want to jump in the Discord and drop your gold guess in there, uh, Zero said my next guess is 201.7 ounces. Um, 
50 buckets. No test. There we go. Uh, let me edit that and make sure people understand it's not for a giveaway this time. Give away this time. Just for fun. There we go. That way, at least everybody knows. I don't want to. I don't want to be accused of false advertisement and stuff. So, uh, we will do another gold uh, gold guest giveaway the next time we clean out the. So probably next month. As long as it takes me to get fifty buckets, and the fact that I've got two weeks worth of shows this month that I'm not even going to be here to stream. So. I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of playing either. Uh, but, yeah, next time we'll do it. This is looking good, though. I've never cleaned out an entire claim. And it was looking like we're going to be able to pretty quickly run in two wash plants. And when we get the bucket loader, it's probably going to get even faster. So, but yeah, if we get if we get 200 ounces, we're definitely getting the bucket loader. Because it takes us, takes us 30%. That'll be 60 ounces of it. But we'll still make 150,000 to be able to get the bucket loader. So that'll be great. We're more than happy with that. That's going to do it for today, though. I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for being here. If you're watching on X, I appreciate you. I don't know if anybody's been chatting over there. I didn't have it open today. Uh, so Twitter or X does have a live chat for the live streams. Uh, I appreciate you watching. If you're watching on X, thanks so much. Go subscribe on YouTube. Follow on X if you want to. Uh, formerly Twitter. Cool, cool. Um, but yeah, we got six days to winter, so we have five days to mine. I'm thinking after this cleanup, we'll just run whatever we can get and then skip through winter and then start back over again. Uh, but yeah, we'll probably run whatever dirt we can get up to that fifth day. And on that fifth day, we'll start putting everything away. I don't want to, I don't want to, I want one day to winter. I want to make sure we have everything put away. So all of our equipment, buckets can stay out, whatever. I don't care, but all of the equipment needs to go up. All the hoses need to go up. Uh, I want to make sure everything is, is put away for winter time here in the gold mining world of Alaska. I appreciate you guys. I'll catch you next time. Have a great morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are. I'll be back on Twitch here in about an hour and a half, about two hours. Uh, about two hours, yeah. I'm ending earlier today than normal. Uh, I'll be back on Twitch in about two hours. If you want to come hang out for some Iowa Plains view, we're going to start on, I think, Canola today. I think that's what we're doing. Appreciate you guys. I'll catch you then. Follow all the other channels. I have a channel called uh, Pixel Deuce Plays where I'm playing Dinkum and Power World currently. I have a channel called Farmer Deuce. That's where all my Twitch streams go. And I've got a new series I'm going to start releasing soon uh, on the fr Frontier. And uh, it's a one-acre farm challenge. It's going to be a lot of fun, I think. Appreciate you guys. Catch you next time. Later, folks. Solomon, while you're catching me just at the end of the stream, just finished watching some past live streams when it popped up. Thanks, dudes, for great content you make. Just discovered your channel. Appreciate you, and I hope you enjoy them. But I do have to take off, uh, and I, I'm glad you enjoy them, and I hope you enjoy the future streams. I'll catch you guys next time. Later, folks.